Weather Now with Jenny Woodward at the Ecker. Hello everyone, lots of dogs on show at the Ecker and today it was the turn of the Boston Terrier. Now he's a beautiful little dog called Macca, he won his class today. He's quite old for his uh, breed, he's about nine years old and they're an athletic dog but a great apartment dog. They don't require much maintenance or exercise. A little bit different to a French Bulldog, they have pointier ears and they're a bit taller as well. The other breed to see today was the gorgeous Dalmatian and the spots on the Dalmatian are like our fingerprints, they are individual to each dog. The Dalmatians have an amazing history that dates back to the Egyptians and the pharaohs. This is Pink, she won best puppy of the day today. She's pretty interested in what I'm doing. Hello, yes you are gorgeous. And they are dogs that of course have been fashionable throughout history. They have a beautiful temperament and uh, as you can see she's a lovely animal. Now I have to get on to weather matters and indeed it's been an ideal day for the Ecker today. We had a top of 21 degrees but there was a little bit of wind down by the bay so a little bit cooler there. Certainly cool out to the west, one degree in Ipswich this morning and it was a very frosty start to the day on the granite belt where Applethorpe ranged from minus 2 to 14. That colder air mass is extended right up to the north, only 23 in Rockhampton and 24 in Townsville but can still hit 28. Let's look at the satellite and apart from some cloud about the tropical coast where there were some very light falls, it's been clear. Some tropical moisture is feeding into Western Australia and we've got another front further south. So a cold wet day ahead for Perth, up to 20 millimetres possible. Fog and frost possible in Melbourne, while Sydney can expect a cloudy day with showers. Onto the chart and the big high pressure system pushing that cold air mass, air mass well up into the north. So we've got a cool night ahead with early frost about the southern and central interior. There'll be a few showers about the tropical and the southeast coast. The next trough's going to move into the southwest on Thursday. Temperatures will warm up ahead of the line as it moves east and we could see some showers south of about Emerald to Longreach. The highest totals of 15, 25 millimetres south of about St George to Gundawindi on Friday. Forecast tomorrow and in the north a strong wind warning from Torres Strait down to Cooktown. A few showers about the north tropical coast but otherwise fine and sunny after a cool night in some places. 8 to 27 in Mount Isa. Inland there'll be morning frost about southeastern parts of the southern and central interior then a fine sunny day. In the southeast, fog and frost about the Downs, down to zero in Dolby and Stanthorpe, 16 for Toowoomba, a sunny day throughout. Brisbane can expect 9 to 21, a sunny day, light winds, sounds perfect, with a chilly night to the west, 5 for Ipswich, 6 in Bow Desert. On the bay, south south west is at first, but eventually turning south southeast by afternoon. People's Day, that's Wednesday, we'll just have a bit of cloud on 21 degrees. It's the same story on Thursday, but we'll have a few showers on the forecast for Saturday still, up to 10 millimetres expected. Well, it's action stations here at the Dog Pavilion. There's a lot going on and they've had a very big day, so I need to let them go home and have a nap. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, the perfect ending. Thanks, Jenny. Time now for 7.30 with Sarah Ferguson.